A Day in the Life of an Atlantean Citizen Housing When any member of the Order of Death awakens from their need for further rest and slumber, the world is improved and enlightened. They begin their waking lives by sitting up from a gloomy shroud of darkness inside an enclosed structure. This is their bedroom and their home. In the homes in the New Jerusalem, that is, the ascended city of Enoch in heaven, the minds of those whose bodies remained in sleep below arise into a realm of eternal clear bright light in the realms above and beyond all material reality. The walls of their homes are translucent stained glass, and their homes are all combinations of the same basic tessellated solids, leaving room between their modular hives for hallways, chutes, and ladders. These modular condominiums provide tensegrity for the structural integrity of large buildings to grow similarly to how the hexagonal cells of a quartz crystal propagate. Instead of stacking cubes on top of cubes and building upward, a single room with a certain number of sides of walls can metastasize into a building with an equal or derived number of wings, floors, rooms, etc., alike a common snowflake style of fractal. Because fractals propagate around the outer edges of strange attractors, there are large open spaces within and between the manifold of surrounding houses. Much like a menger sponge, the complete structure possesses nearly zero solid volume, but covers a maximum amount of area using empty space. Each room's shape corresponds to a pattern of tessellations determined by the number of sides of the floor and on the total number of walls. Many individual houses are based on the truncated octahedron's unfolded tiling pattern as their blueprint. Others are semi- or demi-regular tessellation patterns, combining multiple shapes and solid forms. The basic building blocks are the three prime polyhedra, the triangle, square, and pentagon, that combine to comprise the five platonic solids themselves on which the Atlantean society is founded and based. Atlantean architecture embraces an expanding fractal pattern elaborating outward from a single core into an infinitely bifurcating complexity asymptote. Because the purpose is to maximize space and depth by opening the walls up to create a tensegrity for the building's structural integrity, the walls themselves are a crystalline glass-like substance that can vary its degree of opacity. Along the edges between the walls, ceilings, and floors run fiber optics that can illuminate these glass-like walls any color. 